York City, Manhattan, grew up? I grew up in Manhattan, but I was born in Brooklyn. Uh-huh. And I uh, think Shelley uh, was, I think she really was, she was living in Brooklyn for a while at the original Shelley Winters, who yeah. you worked with. Who I worked yeah, with. Yeah, she, she, matter of fact, I want to tell you, you started as a singer at the beginning of your career or as an actress? I always wanted to act. You're I always, always considered myself an actress As first. an actress. Um, but I wanted parts, and so the only way I could do it is I came up with an idea, and the club is called Brothers and Sisters. Mm -hmm. And they had an upstairs, and I said, well, if you pay me $35 a week, good businesswoman I was, and I'll make your upstairs into a club. And we got this tiny piano that fit. And 10 weeks later, it was a huge success, Brothers and Sisters. And then Reno Sweeney was a new club. Okay. My friend Elena Reed was playing there. Bill Hennessy, who eventually became my manager, uh -huh. um, uh, he uh, told me about the club. And I, well, that July 1973, it hit and I hit. And from that, I got my f subsequent first musical, Rachel Lily Rosenblum. Mm -hmm. And then my first play in the Boomer Room at David Ray, uh, David Ray play at uh, the Public Theater, uh -huh. which became my second home. Joe Pep. Joe Who Pep. really discovered you. He was your... He, he was my mentor, but a lot of people were... Uh, I was very fortunate. I've lost an awful lot of fabulous people, and uh, now Shelley, uh -huh. but um, who were really kind to me. And everybody entered the public theater with a diploma in their hand, and I entered through the back door, and he let me fight for that role uh -huh. in the Boomer Room, and Paul Mazursky came mm -hmm. one show, and Act Two, where I am naked and I uh, do the stance, and I was scared, uh -huh. and I knew he was in the audience, and he left. Mm -hmm. And I was so frightened, I thought he hated my performance. Well, the day he came, I was very fortunate that the Times had a great review on the play, mm -hmm. me, and mm -hmm. saying it was, it was a very mm -hmm. flattering mm -hmm. uh, review. And, uh, well, anyhow, the next day I got a call, and Paul wanted to see me for his film. And which and was? Next Stop, Greenwich Village. And that was... Your very first film. Uh, yes, I was 24. It was 1974. Uh huh. How did you feel about? It? Did you have a uh, audition for him or just? I auditioned read? for him first. You, he, I met him, and he's very intuitive, uh -huh. and he talks, and then uh, he directs in such a beautiful, gentle way. He was the first director who ever told me to um, go with my instincts right. and trust them, and I was fortunate. We got a two-week rehearsal. Uh huh. And a great cast, Lenny Baker. Lenny Baker, Shelley Winters. Shelley Winters. Who had a, was she there at your rehearsal, uh, at your uh, she, opening? She, uh, to okay you? Was she there? Opening for the next For the film, yeah. Um, was she there when you? Uh, I think so. I, you know, it's so long ago, and I don't even remember You don't remember. Uh-huh, uh-huh. I, I never remember. You can ask me about the making of the film. You can always ask me about the creative mm -hmm. part. But all the things that make, you know, the, yeah. that, no, that, that people love, like the applause. I never hear applause. Uh -huh. I get, get lectures, uh, even today when I, we, we tour with our show tours. Right. My husband and I, Christian Klikovitz, he'll always say, Ellen, let uh -huh. them applaud. Uh -huh. I'm on to the next number. Right, I don't right. hear those things. So if you ask me about the opening, I don't remember it. I see. But I remember everything about the working progress. And Je uh, Jeff Goldblum and Chris Walken were in Next Up Greenwich Village. Uh -huh. And Jeff Goldblum was in that? Yes. Yes. Was that his one of his first? Because uh, I interviewed him. We talked about that. Yeah. I don't remember him. T oh, he yeah. played the paranoid actor. That's right. Wonderful. Yeah, he was yeah. Just wonderful. And Chris Walken was great. And Lois Smith and Dory Brenner. Uh huh. And it uh, was a, it's a cult film. It's a great film. And it's just now out in DVD. Yes, it just, just came out. It just came out in DVD. The Greenwich Village. Next up, Greenwich Next Village. Stop. Uh, Paul Mazursky directed, and he does an audio on I. This is Shelley Winters right now in this film. Look yeah. at her. We just lost this legendary star, great star. She and, was uh, wonderful. Yeah, we were at the actor studio. That's where I met you just recent, yes. last Saturday or Friday. And um, Ellen, 
thinking about Shelley Winters. We just lost her. We lost her husband the same next after they buried her. We were at the memorial for Shelley, and there's her ex-husband dead right there. Tony. It was Tony. I can't believe what we're losing in Hollywood. This is a great legend of Miss Winters. Uh, what do you think in your mind when you first met this great actress? What can you share some things? For well, us? I know. Again, I was so young um, that I didn't know you were supposed to be scared. Uh huh. I didn't know. I was so eager. I'm. Uh, I love to please. I love to be directed. Mm -hmm. And Shelley, I didn't know that she was a force to be reckoned with. Right. She was always so gentle and kind with me. She was. Oh, she was really kind. Uh -huh. um, we do this scene um, in the film, and it's a confrontation scene. Uh, the character, uh, Larry Lipinski, uh -huh. uh, is her son. Mm -hmm. He wants to be an actor. He's left home, and uh, she has a very strong hold on him, and mm -hmm. she loves him very much. And, well, we have just gone through an abortion. Uh -huh. And uh, there's this party that she comes to and uh, by accident. Right. And it's after the party, and she asks us, Did, have we ever had sex? Okay. Let's, let's see. Okay. You're off the clip. Okay. okay. Let's see. No, so then what are you doing? <laughs> Not doing anything. Because you know something, you think that I was born yesterday. Hey. Business, Frank. It bothers you I ask you a couple questions, huh? Not really. I'm glad we finally met. Yeah. <laughs> it was up to my son would never meet. <laughs> he's ashamed of me. <laughs> no, he's not. He's afraid of you. Miss, don't be such a wise guy. Here you are. You want something, Pop? I want to go home. I have to get up early. I just got my coffee. You want to go home? Well, I understand you and this uh, pretty young lady. Your name's Sarah. Yeah. Sarah, they, you're not getting married, huh? Where'd you read that? Walter Winchell? Oh, another wise guy. Am I wrong or am I right? You're right. Sarah is just my girlfriend. All right, then. So when are you going to get married, huh? You don't necessarily get married to your girlfriends these days. Oh, so who do you marry? Your boyfriends? I told you, Greenwich Village is peculiar. <laughs> I see where you get your sense of humor from. <laughs> I got married, I was 18 years old. 19. Uh, I, um... I never knew another man. Uh, <laughs> but in those days, you dated. Then you got engaged and you got married. <laughs> and there was no hanky-panky in between. Maybe there should have been. Hey, Sarah. Maybe she's right. Who knows? But what I do know is nowadays, they date, they never get engaged, they never get married, and there's lots of hanky-panky. Right? <laughs> so you, t you two are... Uh, <laughs> you know, you... Hanky-panky? Mom, Sarah and I are just good friends. You know, I'm not as old-fashioned as you think I am, son. <laughs> and what's the difference if I know the truth? You know, you think I'm a monster. It's none of your business. He's right. You can't stop, can you? I'm a grown man. I'm not a little boy anymore. I have an apartment. I have a career. I have a life. Some career. Four years you went to college. You squeezed carrot juice in a nut house. I am an actor. Right, look, don't yell at me. Hey, it's time to go. Look, miss, if you're sleeping with my son, it's true. It's your own business. But if you're all so damn modern about it, why shouldn't I know about it? Uh, what's the difference? We've had sex. Thanks. You had sex. You had sex. I want to go. I got to go home. I want to go home. I didn't mean it. I want to go home. 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 She was only kidding, Mom. Kidding! I was only kidding. 
You were just kidding. I swear I was joking. We never slept together. Uh, all right. Um, uh, come on, Ben. Let's go. Uh, it, it, it's very nice to meet you, Miss. You're, you're a beautiful girl. Uh, Mr. Sapinski, it was nice meeting you, too. Uh, you know, you should have seen him in college. His acting. He's a genius. Uh, here's Hamlet. It was like you saw a work of art. Ten years away from a good Hamlet. Ben, tell her. Tell her. She's... She was truly a funny, truthful, a truthful actress. She was I warm. asked her when I interviewed her, I interviewed her several times, I've asked Shelley, what is a true actress? She said to me, honesty and truth. That is what a true, be yourself. Listen, always listen for what the other person is saying and react with honesty. Alan, I'm going to ask you the same thing. What is a truthful actress for you? Well, you just said it. truthful actress is true. Yeah. I mean, you, she had warmth and compassion. Uh -huh. You get into your character and you just put the clothes of the character, not the actual clothes, but the what makes a person. Right. And you walk on and you feel and you live. Mm -hmm. And it's very simple. It's just, I, it makes me so sad because she know. really, she really wasn't. What have you learned from working with that great actress, Alan Green? What have you learned? Well, I don't know if you say, what do you learn? I, it's what do you feel? What do you feel? Okay. I, because she loved, she loved props. She, yes. I, I can't stand props. I saw with that. <laughs> she yeah. loves props. Uh -huh. She always loved little things like that. And then magic happens. Uh-huh. I, I, what I love is when you work with people who are true, true to the moment, right. who are warm human beings, uh, because you're either a technical and you bring warmth, right. or you're, um, you are an organic actress and you bring your technique. Right. And I actually... Shelley could consider herself either. I'm definitely someone who feels first, and then I bring my technique in. Uh -huh. And what's great about Shelley is when you are, or actors like it, Lenny Baker is on that camera he's, too. He's I wonderful. mean, he was a technique and brought heart. Yeah. They're, they, they were caring actors. Uh -huh. They were generous actors. They were. I was such a babe, and uh, I was so young. And you were 24. I was 24, but yeah. I was, I was, I wanted to be, and so I was. Uh -huh. It wasn't that, you know, I mean, as I said, some people have diplomas and all that. I just, I was so hungry uh, to uh, work and to, uh, to, to act. I, I, and, and so what was so great about people like Shelley uh -huh. is, and because I met her, Many years again, we, we worked together. You again, did stepping out. Stepping out. Mm -hmm. But she, in that scene, you can see, you see how simple she always thinks. You know that she's thinking before she says. And when the words come out of her mouth, she's it's very true to the character. Yeah. And so there are so many nuances because she just plays. Uh -huh. She gets in the scene and she was... Mercurial, and I and I, you cannot take away also from Paul Mazursky. Yeah, yeah. He had such a sweet depth touch. He was so. He was generous with you. He told you things that. Well, he he allowed two weeks of rehearsal prior to filming mm -hmm. is great because we were really a company. Right. So when we sat down. We knew the structure of what we were going to do, but also we were so comfortable with each other that things like that can happen, and uh -huh. they did. They happened throughout the whole filming. Film. And so a person like uh, Shelley has bravado, uh -huh. and she has amazing comic timing because she does listen. She does. But she also, it's like 
how do you create magic? You is that the actor's technique, actor's studio technique, if Mrs. Winters? I, I do you have that actor's technique? Do you study the actor's technique? Uh, you mean actor's actor studio? studio? No. no, no. You're just organic. You know, actors. what's interesting about it is, is I, I suppose I had a very unique relationship with Shelley because she never pushed me to do anything. But she really... She should advise anything she said? Oh, she, she was just, she liked me. Uh-huh. She liked me, I think, uh, I think, all right, in the scene, for instance. Right. Around the corner. Also, she never, ju I, well, I loved her. Uh -huh. So, I mean, I suppose that's one thing. Maybe she liked me because I really right. loved her. Right. Around the corner, there was a wine bottle. Mm -hmm. And she always liked uh, opera before a scene, to put her in the mood. And I... I just found her, oh, just, she, she was, um, well, a huge heart, uh -huh. and I just... Compassion, great compassion. Her favorite person was Eleanor Roosevelt. How can you not be? Well, she was just, she was, just she was very smart. Always very worrying smart. about the underdog, always considering helping the poor she people. Was, she was, she was, she she was truly, smart. I truly called Shelley Winters a true smart. bohemian. That is what a bohemian is, not, not a, just a poetry actor, or, a, but she was a real bohemian of the Greenwich Village. Well, I, she did understand this world, and she talked yeah. about that a lot. Yeah. But in the scene, when it happened with this hat, uh -huh. it, it's such a, it's such a one, you want those little things to happen. Uh -huh. I remember during the scene, uh -huh. there was a moment that uh, the cinematographer was He's a brilliant cinematographer. Mm -hmm. He did The Goddess. Right. Oh, one of my favorite films with Kim, Kim Stanley. Stanley. Another brilliant, great actress. Br brilliant actress. Oh. But I was referred to, will the breasts, and oh. everything in my body, and Shelley just went, she never talked down to me. She went, mm -hmm. Ellen, don't. Just quietly like that. Uh -huh. And I didn't explode. I did stand up for myself. And Arthur was, or Arthur Ornish was a kind man. He mm -hmm. really didn't mean it badly, but it was the first time I was ever referred to it uh -huh. as, will the breasts move? And it was shocking. And I always admired Shelley. And so when we met again uh -huh. in 1990, it was my first marriage. Mm -hmm. And it was for uh, stepping out. Right. And I'm skipping many years. No, that's okay, darling. But it's uh, stepping out. And... She was the piano rehearsal piano for that. And movie, I, yeah. again, I loved her. Uh -huh. And I Liza Minnelli. Liza Minnelli. Liza another Minnelli. Fabulous woman. Of course, another great. Listen, let's let's show another clip okay. of we are doing of. Uh, Next up, Greenwich Village, or are I, you doing? I uh, think we're doing. Uh, yes. Show. Okay. Let's show it. Sarah. I want to talk to you. No. Please. No. You hurt my arm. I'm sorry. Nobody owns me. Nobody. Do you have any gum? My mouth is tastes rotten. Here. Let's make love. Okay. Ah, that scene is so good. That's New York, right? That's in New York, and that's when we're breaking up. I've gone. I want to go away to Mexico to be with Chris Walken. Right, right. And uh, we're going to go home and make love. Uh, and then he mm -hmm. finds out that You're I've been with You're such a great singer. You, Thank you know, this. You didn't sing in this film. I didn't. I, I do want to say, yeah. uh, in stepping out, uh -huh. uh, Shelley, when we met, she said, "You know, this is our second time. We're going to work together a third time." She did. And uh, I do believe that the DVD came out 
in December, I think, 13th or 15th. Right. And I believe, I, and it's getting good reviews. It's and I believe the DVD is, yes, yes. I believe that this is our third time working together. Stepping Out and Greenwich Village. Yeah. It's next. Uh, listen, you did, uh, Ellen. And I know that she liked that I sang, and I am She doing loves a to show. sing. She did, used to come to my talent night at Cafe Roma, right. which I'm there every Monday, and she used to get up and sing. Oh, she, she loved, maybe that's what she liked me, I don't she know. She loved singing, I yes. send every, uh, my, I've been touring with a show called Torch with my husband. You were in London, tell I me. In you London. were in London with it was this. amazing. At the, uh, what theater were you? The, your uh, the Players Theater. Yeah, the, the, your husband is Christian? Christian Klikovic. And he's from? He's Austrian. Austrian. How did you yeah. meet him? I met him at the gym. Uh -huh. And we've been touring with the show Torch, and then we made this album uh -huh. in his eyes. It's and great. I heard it. It's just wonderful. It's, it's really a wonderful album. It's it's a lot. It's all these torch songs uh, of all sorts of uh, periods we do in the show. But uh -huh. it, this is mostly Sarah McLachlan, Tori Amos, uh, um, uh, Queen. Uh -huh. And it's, it's out it's now. It's, it's, out, it's out, now. out now. It's listen, on my website. Uh, listen, darling. Really I welcome. love. I love right now to show because Little Shop Hor of Horrors. Yes. That yes. is a very important film. Yes. And your life. It is. It was the turning point. I suppose that was the turning point. Come on, let's I show a clip because okay. we don't have too much time. Because I really, okay. <laughs> I want to show this clip. Okay. okay. From Little Shop of Horrors, you're singing. Provide you sweet understanding. Seymour's your friend. Nobody ever treated me kindly. Daddy left early. Mama was poor. I meet a man and I follow him blindly. He'd snap his fingers at me. I'd say sure. Suddenly, Sima is standing beside me. You don't give me your eyes. You don't come to say. Till forever, tell me the bad times are clean washed away. Please understand that it's still strange and frightening for losers like I've been. It's so hard to say. Suddenly, Seymour, suddenly, Seymour, if you're horrified, you, suddenly, Seymour, suddenly, Seymour. I just understood you did this at the, uh, the... I did this at Lincoln Center last, I believe it was last year, it's called Showstopper. Uh -huh. And, well, they stopped me twice. I, it was the first <laughs> time I had put on the wig since I p did it in, uh, in London uh -huh. in 1998. Uh -huh. And so I hadn't done it in a really long while. And I put on the wig and all of it and the dress and I did the stage version and it was pretty... I look foxy. <laughs> turning point of uh, Ellen's. Uh, huh? Turning point of uh, your. Yeah, go on. Uh, with Three Penny you. Opera with Raul Julia. Right. At the Beaumont for the Public Theater. Uh, talk Radio. Mm. Oliver Stone directed that one. Um, How was he to work with? Oh. Oliver? Great. Yeah. yeah, I, yeah. I've just been very. I know his mother. She, she's lovely. She lives in. Yeah, go ahead. Yes, I've met her. She's yes. sweet. Jackie. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Um, very intelligent. Very. Yeah. Um, uh, turning cool. Point. How about the cool. cooler? Oh, the Wayne. cooler. Wayne. Yes, and the professional. That's uh, with Burt Lancaster. 
The professionals? No, uh, no I, the professional. Oh, the professional. Oh, that's right. That's uh, that's uh, Luc Besson film. Right, right, right. right. And uh, that, but I mean, I've been fortunate. I've worked with an awful lot of great people. Uh, I've done so many films, and I have to say that I hadn't sung since I met my husband. Your husband. Yeah. You seem very family. happy right now in your lifetime. Any children? Uh, no. No. Look at this. Tell me about this cast. Yes. Uh, that's Chris Walken, Dory Brenner, um, Antonio Fargas, uh -huh. and Lenny Baker. Oh. Lenny Baker. He's no longer. No. He died in 1979. Right after the film? Okay. Well, he did. Uh, he got a Tony for I Love My Wife. Uh huh. And uh, the film ended, we did end it in 74. I think it came out in 76 while I was doing Three Pennies. Uh -huh. And um, he passed away. He did I Love My Wife. 77, 78, and then uh, 79 around, he passed mm -hmm. away. Mm -hmm. And so Paramount's going to honor Shelley Winters this, uh, I think, February the 12th. Yes. And I hope you're there because you are going to, I understand to you're going to sing for him. I would love and to. And that would be interesting because we lost a great actress. You did. The reason is, and, and I kind of was trying to say that before, but I was just inept. Shelley... If you have an acting vocabulary from right. A to Z, meaning you can bring emotions that are frightening and huge and real at the same time and on the edge, right. and also be have nuance with comedy and be tender and poignant and romantic and silly uh -huh. and frighteningly real, I, when you have that much to work with. Right. And what was brilliant about Shelley is her heart was so huge, she could command. I remember she was doing a scene. I was watching it. It's a scene in the film where she listens to opera. Mm -hmm. And she said, all right, Ellen, watch. I'm going to cry on this side. On this side. Mm -hmm. And she also told me to get it out yeah. of her eye line. <laughs> <laughs> she was just great. I was fortunate. Maybe, you know, you never know when you're learning, and I was allowed to watch her work. So. That's wonderful, Ellen. That's, thank yeah. you so much, and thank you for talking about your life and with Shelley sharing this wonderful moment. About we did lose a great one. We lost one of the greatest actresses ever, who I love. Shelley I hope they do a retrospect. They are. They are.